Well, this is kind of an obnoxious full exposure climb. This was a really irritating ride. I mean, that's not to say you shouldn't ride any of the trails near Boulder Lake, just don't do it the way I did it. Boulder Lake itself isn't really worth the I mean it's fine whatever it's a lake it's more of a side attraction so definitely don't ride down to Boulder Lake if you do this ride unless you like road climbs first of all the actual start of this trail system is a pain in the neck to find I'm going to post coordinates for the starting point that I used in the in the description to this video because you're not going to find it otherwise so the Hidden Meadows trail starts at this random location along the side of the Forest Service Road from here you'll climb for about a half mile until you get to this road intersection where you'll want to turn right and pick up the trail again on your left this is one of the few confusing road crossings if you ride the trail system the way I rode it but it's the last one on the climbing part. The other road crossing is thoughtfully marked with cairns, so it's not as easy to get lost on it. For the most part, Hidden Meadows Trail is a stand-up pedal climb. I had my front and rear shocks locked out the entire time I was climbing it. The trail surface is matted twigs and pine needles that crackle soothingly under your tires as you climb. The softness of the surface does add a bit to your climbing effort, especially on a hot and dry day, so keep that in mind. Even though you'll be doing about 900 feet of climbing in this section, you'll definitely feel it and regret it. The forest throughout this ride is transitional, dry east side of the Cascades, conifers and shrubs, but not yet dry enough for Ponderosa, so it doesn't even have that, you know, nice fancy butterscotch aroma. It's just sort of dry woods. The understory of this forest looks like a biomass garbage dump, like maybe this isn't the healthiest forest around. It's kind of just a big dry thicket. Enjoy it while you can because it looks to me like it's one idiot's unattended campfire away from erupting into an inferno. After about a mile and a half of stand-up pedaling, you'll come to a hill that's too steep and gnarly to pedal. It's not too bad. You can handle it. The steep grade doesn't go on for too long. You just need to carry your bike or push it. And then you're back to just pedaling like a road biker on dirt. Eventually, when Bonnie Meadow comes into view, you'll see this intersection with the Forest Creek Trail to your right. You should absolutely ride down the Forest Creek Trail back to the car. I rode that route before I had a GoPro once, and uh, it was objectively better than what I'm about to talk about in this video. It'll take you along the ridge above Boulder Lake, which is what you want to do, because Boulder Lake itself isn't really worth your time unless you're planning on camping there for some reason. Of course, if you're crazy like me, you can keep going through buggy, I mean Bonnie Meadow, until you get to the intersection with the Boulder Lake Trail. To the left is the buggiest campground ever if you want to get sucked dry by biting flies and mosquitoes. So turn right. The downhill to Boulder Lake is, well, it's fine. I mean, I didn't hate it, and it was at least a kind of a reward for all the climbing I just did. It's two miles long, has kind of a climby section in it, and it descends down a side cut for two miles. The forest through this part is much more comely than the forest you were riding in for the last three miles, so enjoy this forest. The trail drops you off at Boulder Lake, where there are a bunch of walk-in campsites. This is a great place to go hand truck camping. You know, hand truck camping? It's where you find a site about a mile from the car and instead of backpacking, you haul everything in with a picnic wagon or a hand truck. You can carry a lot more beer on a hand truck. Boulder Lake looks like it would be a great place to go skinny dipping at night. It would be like Timothy Lake, but much more intimate and without the crowds. So the fun is over for a while at this point. If you keep following the trail, eventually you'll climb a really steep side cut, then end up at Little Boulder Lake. I don't know if it's visible in this GoPro, but... Compared to Boulder Lake, Little Boulder Lake is gross. More of a large shallow pond. Yuck. I wouldn't swim in it. Which is gross and really wasn't worth your time. What you should have done is just go back down to the road because there's no way to avoid the hell that awaits you now that you decided not to descend Forest Creek Trail when you had a chance. Dum dum. The Little Boulder Trail ends up on this random spur road, which by the way is not the same road you parked a car on. That would be too easy. You'll climb this spur road for about a mile until you intersect with the Forest Creek Trail, which is the one you should have been riding down all this time instead of suffering on this stupid road. This is actually a half decent descent, at least by 44 trail standards, so you know, whatever. Anyhow, in complete defiance of whatever the maps say about this area, the Forest Creek Trail eventually connects you to this random spur road, again, on which you'll proceed to the left and back to the Hidden Meadows Trail, which will mercifully take you back to your car. Now, that was a very mediocre ride in a hot, dry forest. Let's never speak of this again.